Right. Which I did, and then I'm saying, oh my God, what if I can't drive? I'll see. I am. Did you have them done? How long ago? Was it good? I didn't take drops before then. Yeah, that might be new. I don't know. They just said take them the day before. Yes. Something like that. I had one hell of a time getting them. I could put them in other people's eyes, but I can't put them in my own. Yeah. It's a nuisance. Be it was on so light. Like, all right, it's like it's been the never ending. At first, always every for year. A week or two. So when, if it wasn't flowing, yeah. that's long. it. Yeah, I'm doing them four times a day. Well, Can't do six and ten. But so I, as I'm doing that, I'm saying, holy shit, maybe I won't be able to drive. I don't know. Yeah. But they haven't seemed to have done anything. That's good. So I don't know why I'm taking them, but <laughs> it's, it's probably a. a Antiseptic sort of thing. It could be antibiotic kind of thing. As opposed to opening your. Yeah, I think it dilates the pupil and stuff. So, so it's eight o'clock tomorrow morning. I'm looking forward. When I took my trip to Florida. I couldn't see a blessed thing. I couldn't drive. It was it was terrible. There you go. So I said I when I got home, I'll bring it a flyer because I have flyers. Yeah. Really. So this was a. Uh, video that you made, or mm -hmm. it's been on PBS. Oh, it's an evergreen, so that it comes back. So it's about this theater. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Which is now <laughs> the Academy the play. Well, now it is said to be dark. The indifference is it's incredible. In it's it, the old town. Everybody town. says it's like literally night and day. You know where it's on Main Street? I'm hoping that's the way it is. Up on the left. Maybe my brain would be compensating a little bit. Maybe I've had a feeling your brain would be compensating. You've got that kind of compensating brain. <laughs> I'm like, I do not. Well, it's not show. Centers for Culture and History in Orleans. This is a thing. Yeah, well, I think, I think so the much Academy I has a couple of questions that's not associated with my, this at all. But what I had hoped, yeah. somebody puts in a driveway to a house yeah. that's yeah. behind yeah. other yeah. houses. Yeah. Pretty yeah. lively. Yeah. Is are there any rules governing that they would they make all the comments and stuff? That's for me. Undermining the property. Bob, that's for me. That's for turning those oh, oh. The, the property is subsiding. So I don't, wrong, wrong venue to fix it. <laughs> you know, there's a stone wall and the stone wall is falling over and the trees, they have to leave. So, you know, um, mm -hmm. I know they looked at so the, um, I have to, I'll have to do that on Wednesday. Well, yeah. I don't know. Oh. Oh. Or something. And they had a shortfall in fundraising and they were late on the final payment. So they just looked out and said, Done. You can see it. Yes, I know them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, maybe it's in here. It's a little, it is in here. That part is all in the back. Okay. Of course, of course. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> I'm okay. Ready, Paula? Ready, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Good evening. Welcome to this meeting of the Elkings Highway Historic District Committee for the Town of Yarmouth, which is being held in accordance with Chapter 470 of the Acts of 1973 as amended. At 7.15 p.m. Monday, May 9th, 2022, at the Yarmouth Town Hall Hearing Room, located at 1146 Route 28, South Yarmouth. Moreover, pursuant to Chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021, considering certain
COVID-19 measures, this meeting is run in a hybrid mode. So there may be some people interacting via Zoom. There are seven new applications for certificate of appropriateness that will be heard this evening in the order listed on the agenda. <clears throat> Please be reminded that our committee's main purpose is to review items for appropriateness and setting. And it's the responsibility of the applicant to comply with the regulations of other town boards and departments, including building, conservation, engineering, health, zoning, and the sign inspector. You should also know that there is a 10 calendar day appeal period starting once a decision is filed with the town clerk. Any person aggrieved by our decision tonight can appeal to the Regional Commission of the Old Kings Highway. And our office administrator will be happy to answer any questions you may have with respect to that process. The first item on the agenda tonight is with respect to putting solar panels, roof mounted solar panels at six rising knoll path. <coughs> the homeowner is Eileen Skiver. The Sundown Installations agent is Steve Kelly. Steve Kelly. Hi, Steve. Good. Hello. Good. Essentially, we're going to table this uh, application. It is presently a Vivint. Uh, project and we're going to resurrect it as a sun run project right so we'd like to try to just table it for today and come back with a full set of new paperwork with oh i thought you had we have but because it's a vivant project sun run and vivant sun run bought vivant right now i'm aware of that and they came here to a couple of weeks ago. No, Steve did. Yeah, I've yeah. been I've been here for that and we had another one around the and corner. They were on the back right. when yes. you came last right. time. And so front, I mean. essentially because we don't have the proper plans and documents for what we're going to build, I'd like to table it and come back work with Lisa and come back at a later time. Okay, now um, the the other one on early red berry? Yes. That's the same situation? No. No, that it has sun run paperwork for it so okay. it'll just be the first one that'll table and i'll come back for the i'll wait for the fifth okay. one so one. the request is to table do i hear a motion on this i move to table the application second all those in favor of tabling first application aye 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 aye, aye. okay thank you so can i have a seat a while and come back. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so the next item is concerned with putting dormers on the house. And I'll read what it says here. Um, it says add two doghouse dormers on a 34 foot, eight foot covered farmer's porch at 13 West Great Western Road. The plans that I received are a little different from that. So we'll see what you have to say. Hello. Hi. You are Dan. I am Dan, my wife, Kristen okay. Keller. Well, the plans are in front of you, just all they're showing is the, the, the two doghouse dormers on the front of the, of the main house, and then there's a a farmer's porch being added. Everything else is existing. So we're, I'm sorry, where's the farmer's porch? On the very front of the house. Across the entire front? Yep. The main The main portion. of the main house on the left-hand side. Okay, so, so the, the uh, dormers on the garage, are there already? Yes, that was a pr previous project. Okay. Good. That's existing. We just, what we, about the back? Excuse me. What about the, back? Full, the back is a, a full dormer. It's full dormer in the back. And that is existing. Existing, well. correct. So we're just adding two windows up on the second floor for okay. the two bedrooms because there's no light to get in the front of the house. Okay. So bedrooms. the statement here was correct. You know, I got the plans. They look like new plans, but they incorporated all this other stuff. 
that's, that's my architect, Eric. I'm sorry for that. It was confusing. Oh, I had one question about the um, clapboard that shows on the 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 addition, but the clapboard's not, and it's probably just because you didn't. Well, just are you going to have clapboard? Clapboard. Uh, the, the main front on the front part of the house is going to stay existing. I'm just right. on the farmer's porch. It's clapboard the now. And then the new the new dog houses you have the clapboard. There's clapboard to match. But does it ma so it matches it's, what? Yes, it's going to match existing. Gotcha. Okay. <clears throat> Which makes sense because there it is. Hmm. It matches the 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 two dog houses over the the right. garage addition have yep. the same yep. clapboard. It'll match that. Yep. So the roof for the proposed farmer's porch is going to intersect above the gutter on the existing roof? Correct. Up to where the doghouse is going to be built. Right. And what happens to the gutter on the existing roof? It's going to be... Does the gutter go away? Yes. There's a new roof line to come all the way down and shed down the farmer's porch and catch on the and farmer's porch gutter. What's the pitch of the farmer's porch roof? Uh, Shallower than the... Yes. Yeah. 12, two and a half... Two and a half pitch. Okay. Well, it's just to get light in. Yes, it's mm -hmm. the, it's it's different upstairs. The old John Sears house. Yeah. And the upstairs, there's no windows for the second floor upstairs at all for light. And right. and you're going to match the grill pattern throughout right. six absolutely. over six. Yes, absolutely. <clears throat> yeah, the light, lighting is the main main issue. I move to approve. I like it. I'll second. All those in favor? I abstain. Uh, aye. 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 Okay. Now, this is a document you have to sign. It says you're going to build it as planned. And if you can make any changes, you come back to us. Oh, thank you. You'll get a copy of that when you get the materials. Thanks. Good luck. Thank you very much. Abstain. Yeah. If she abstains, does she sign it? No, actually, because she means this is approval. Alec Boyle? Abe. 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 Hi, Abe. Boyle. Hello. How are you this evening? Thank you. Not quite ready for you. Gotcha. The next item is concerned with installing 20 black roof mounted solar panels on the back roof at 32 Whippoorwill Lane. James Barry is the owner and my generation energy is the agent. And we have uh, Abe, that's Dave? Abe, Abe. Oil. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you're able to hear us. I am. We can hear you. Good. Excellent. Um, so you should have a, a set of plans there. It's fairly straightforward. As you said, 20 panels uh, to be mounted on the back so that they're not visible um, from the public ways there. This is a concession that Jim realized he needed to make right off the bat. Um, so we've worked with him on that. I'd be happy to answer any questions. 
panels are the panel from uh, windswept wind path which they are not there is a there's a large stand of trees between the, the the property to the back and a house that interferes with the view so when i drove windswept i could see that roof from windswept yeah yeah i could too yeah i spoke to the lady who lives um, behind this house and um, she remarked that she can see them see, see the particular roof where they were to be put and um, because if you if you look at some Google pictures, um, there are a lot of trees missing that show up on Google because uh, oftentimes the Google is pictures are from five years ago. The, the Google the Google photos that are there that were taken in October. Um, so that's what you can see if you can see there. I went by, um, took the photos from the front of the house, uh, drove back around. Um, I, be, I, again, because of, I also spoke to a, a neighbor there to the rear who was concerned about the, the view from basically from her back um, deck. Right. And um, what I, what I saw when I drove through in February, I didn't, I didn't think the visibility uh, from the backside there, um, excuse me, as I'm forgetting the name of the road off the top of my head um, would be an issue. Um, but obviously that is, that's your purview. Yeah, there, are, there are about seven that are on a roof that's about a six inch no, pitch. The, the ones on the, uh, the dormer on would side. be hardly visible. You just yeah. see the edge of them. Yeah, because of the flatness, flat nature of the dormer. Yeah, exactly, yep. Yeah. So, you, so you all talked to the neighbor and the neighbor had a comment? Yeah, um, I spoke to her about two days ago. And um, I, I mentioned to her that sometimes we put in a few evergreens, select locations to kind of block it. You know, mm -hmm. which We've done that before sure. where we have parallel streets and um, the houses there at this other location were closer than these. Uh, so these are a little more spread out. But. So these are deciduous trees that are currently behind the house, not evergreens, right? Correct. But you were by in February. That was that's when we did our that's when we did the work. Uh, yeah, exactly. When we started all this, we started the process. It could have been March, actually. I'm sorry, uh, time is flying here. But it was there was it was oh, definitely there was nothing up there at the time. So there were no leaf trees at that time, correct? Correct. Correct. And what was your judgment on the visibility from uh, windswept? Windswept from windswept. My my judgment was that the house obstructed the view. The house on windswept obstructed the view of the rear, and because of the the, the fact that the the upper the the panels on the dormer obviously at a relatively flat pitch, um, just a, a a very minimal visibility. I I didn't see it as something that would draw attention. Um, Minimally from windswept. Well, when I drove by today, and there are certainly a, a lot more trees in bloom today than there were in February. Sure. Um, while I totally agree with you that there's no visibility when you're looking straight back at the um, from windswept back to the to this house, when you're approaching the house from either direction, the uh, panels would be pretty visible at an angle and there are no trees that obstruct that view yeah. of any kind. Well, we're getting into our judgment call on what is minimally visible, what is the definition of minimally visible to the public view? Um, we, we struggle we with this every time. Yeah, as I say, we've taken into account the view from the, the deck you know, if you're sitting on your deck and you're looking up at solar panels, it may not be all that. Uh, then they should be here, frankly. Yeah, so. Um, we are talking about public view, so. Part of the public. It, if, I, if I can interject on it, the discussion with the neighbor that I had was specifically to the, 
the the glare. She wasn't she wasn't opposed to how the panels would look on the house. She was saying that you know absolutely would see that the the panels would be there. Looks like yeah. Judy may be here. Judy. Um, so I sent her some literature on. on. Sorry. I think Judy might be trying to get onto the. Meeting. Yes, I just saw something jump up. Yep. Yeah, when I spoke to Judy, she mentioned a possible glare too, and and I mentioned to her that from the point of view of the uh, angles of the sun and the way they'd be hitting those solar panels, she would never get any glare. Judy, exactly. are you here? I am. Thank you very much. Okay, good, Judy. Judy is who is Judy? Judy is the neighbor ah, who neighbor. is behind um, the home in question. Who is people have spoken to about the plan, oh, and Judy. so she's here to speak for herself. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, I have. I just had questions. Um, I spoke with the chairman, and I spoke with Abe. Abe had sent me a uh, article that was like fourteen years old about glare. And I, I don't believe that he's actually physically been on the property in the back to see. Um, and I also spoke with the chairman about it. I was just concerned where the placement is. Um, some of the trees that used to be there, and I don't know what Google Photos were looked at, um, have been cut over the last few years. So it, it's, you know, I'm going to have to I look at it. Um, when we're out or if we're at the windows on the back of the house. Um, my concern was where exactly were they going to be and what was the glare going to be like? And my experience and I, the, my experience comes from having installed about 32 megawatts of solar on the cap landfills across the Cape and Martha's Vineyard. Yep. And the glare comes from, um, this is a flatter installation when they're really pointed at your window. That's when mm -hmm. you or your deck, that's when you're going to get glare. Mm -hmm. But as the pitch becomes less severe, the glare is not as much of an issue. But should okay. Because the sun is going to always be down here. That's yeah, bouncing. and it's also it's not, over. right, it's not It's not a, a, a 45 or a 90 degree angle to you, yeah. the sun and okay. the panels. It also helps too, because it's a north facing array. Um, so angle, considering the, uh, a number of reasons. Um, similar to, similar but better than skylights. Essentially, is what is what we're talking about. The, the glass on the panels is beveled. Um, the study was from 2014. It wasn't wasn't 14 years old. Um, but it, it it basically what the study says is that effectively um, the refraction is similar to wood shingles. Um, and that was done for for an airport study. So uh, my concern is the visibility from windswept. Um, and we have approved applications in the past that have um, had oblique views, aspects of the solar panels, uh, thinking that that would constitute minimum visibility. And then when I've driven by some of these approved projects, I've thought that's uh, more, vis more visible than I thought it would be. Um, so, I use your visibility I, in the winter time when there isn't any uh, uh, foliage on the trees. Do you have a clear view of that whole back roof of that house? I have a view of the dormer. Um, we have a couple of huge evergreens from the previous owners that block the section over near the garage a little bit. It's not, it's not horrific. I don't want to not approve this at my end. I just had questions when I saw that it came up, um, you know, he per OKH um, sort of guidelines, I know they can't have them in the front of the house necessarily, you know, to be seen from the street. We've had to go through OKH procedures in the past for projects we've done at the house. It's just solar panels, I'm of an older age, as new to me to be able to see in the neighborhood and where our backyards are so close. I had questions and Abe was great about answering them as was uh, the chairman. Um, I just, you know, it is what it is. Good for you, Judy. <laughs> I think, to, you know, it's a, there's a whole lot in front of where these panels are going to be from a, from a, a windswept path, which is clearly not a major way. Right. So, I, I, for my opinion, this this is minimally a minimal impact. Do 
Do I hear a motion on this? I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second it. So, all in favor of approving uh, this project, solar panels? Nay. Aye. Aye. Nay. 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 So the nays have it. And, um, Should we tell them their options? Well, the, the option will be, I think an option is to put some evergreens in proper locations to- To block it from windswept yeah. way or right. lane. Yeah, it, it may be a half a dozen um, Greenland Cypress, something like that. Can you hear us, uh, Abe? Absolutely. Yeah. No, I'd be happy to talk to talk to the berries about that. Um, can, sorry, Abe. Can I just? I I don't have an objection with them putting it in again. Even if they put in trees, it's going to take a, quite a while to fill in, like sort of the direct back of the house. I mean, it's the Martin um, sort of way to do things. I just, as I said, had questions about the visibility and what the glare was gonna be like and stuff like that. Um, the lots in, in this area are very close to each other. So I know there are gonna be other people that have them in the neighborhood are gonna to wanna to put them in. Um, and I, I don't see how we can correct the lot size because that's how they were built 40 years ago. So. I personally don't have an objection to them putting it in. I just had a bunch of questions and wanted to hear, um, you know, what what the what it was going to be like once it was installed. We're, we're not put, we're not pointing the finger of blame at you, Judy. <laughs> we, we voted independently of your of uh, your input, so don't not to worry. Okay, but. Um... As uh, Liz and I were saying. You know, I'm looking at this and uh, the back of the main house, is that a uh, flat dormer top? It, it is, it is. And then you've got two on the side of the garage barn. Which will not be visible. Which will not be installed. Visible. Which will not be visible because of the, the decision with shoes. Yeah. And I'm looking at this thinking the, uh, the seven in the middle there it would seem that they would be the visible ones. Yeah. Is that the, is that a fair statement? Again, the the at the distance with the house in between with the trees that are there, um, the flat angle of the roof is really what I was considering um, on that section. Uh, it's again, it, it's I, I'm I'm surprised. I, I didn't see this as an issue. Um, Partly because of the 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 fact that there was a lot there. Partly because of the the, the lightly traveled road. Um, but if you want us want me to go back and talk to the berries about potentially putting in some um, Abervitae or uh, Leland something like that, I I wouldn't be surprised if. Well, I, I don't want to speak for him. He's he's not here to to say yes or no. Um, but I certainly would extend that, and we could we could talk more about that again. I, I'm. I didn't see, I, I saw that the, the initial, um, he, this, he came through a different company. He was talking about doing this, he realized very quickly that the front of the house is not an option. Um, so I, I, I felt like we were both comfortably within um, what would have been deemed approvable by, by moving it to the back. I, I'd, I'd like to add one note of caution about Leland's. Uh, I've had some experience with Leland's. They grow very fast, uh, but the downside is they're very shallow rooted. They tend to uproot easily. Um, I've had two Leland's fail on me because of the uh, high winds that we have. On I was going to say, wind, windswept is aptly named there, right? That's, uh, <laughs> that's something to consider, I'm sure. Just the exposure there, no doubt. Um, I'm not a particular fan of Leland's down here. Well, and then you go back to the giant green arbor vitae. I mean, you're right. in the same right. Right. solution. We've seen them all used. Thanks. I guess also what I was thinking too is, <laughs> I, you are obviously going to take into consideration all views, but um, I think most folks when they're coming around that corner are looking out, they're not looking in, um, considering the view there. This is 
a, a very difficult um, so many times we deal with how long are you going to you have to look for them to see them but there are people on this board who think minimally visible is if you can see them and i that's I not disagree. true i object to that that's not true very good I think this is a terrific test case. And I remember when we put solar panels on the Dennis police station and the Dennis historic committee had a real hard time with it. And they actually timed how long you would have to look in that direction in order to see them for, if, for it to matter. And I think this is along those lines and I'll, I'll leave it at that, but I think we're, we are gonna have to, some way we're gonna have to figure out what minimally visible means. And I'll, I'll leave it at that. This committee has historically approved between 75 to 85 percent of solar panel applications about solar panel applications that come before us. So I'll leave it at that. So Abe, I just want to say one thing. There's some really nice photographs in here with the front of the house, and you can see the pitch of the roof on the front. Yes. And you have a looks like a drone shot at the top of the roof, but I yes. can't see from any of these photographs what the pitches are like on the rear. I mean, I drove by there and saw what it looked like from the street, but I think it'd be helpful to have a shot of the rear of the house to see the actual roof pitch of all these locations where you're um, proposing to put the panels. I think that would be helpful. Sure. And, and typically what we're trying to do is, is, is take the shots from the, the, from the public way. And because they, this, the house is on Whipperwell, um, we took pictures from the, the north uh, dead on and from the south or east, I guess, more in this case, uh, east dead on and south. Um, but, uh, okay. Okay. From the side that we are saying it's yeah. a problem. Because right. it's, if you can't see it, sure you can. Sure you can. We certainly get a picture in there. But I can't tell which is the drum wind swept. Sure. Yeah. Let's. Well, you know, I'll go by there, and we should take pictures. I mean, this is the kind of conversation we should have. Well, we did this. Well, I think that. Um, we didn't see it before. Pardon? I did all of that homework. Right. Three or four months ago, when it came in with uh, Solar Wolf. Right. And it turns out that the garage roofs. This roof and the other front roofs on the house are all six inch. Yeah. And architects do that, you know, they don't make all different pitches. Right. So it all looks coordinated. It's a six, six pitch. Except the dormer, of course, is about a two inch pitch. Yeah. Okay. What did you want to say, Rosemary? In the backyard, <laughs> uh, just a reminder that the applicant has the right to appeal right. the decision. Thank you. Or you can, or you can resubmit. With, uh, modifications with modifications to the design. Yeah, that's, that's cheaper way not. Yeah. <laughs> Would it be worth having panels on the uh, dormer roof and the side uh, without that middle section? Is Would that be worthwhile or would that take away too much potential energy? Um, take a look here. In terms of, I mean, we've got, there are, it's about 40% almost of the total array size for that lower section there. Um, and that is a relatively shallow pitch. Uh, I think the visibility of what, what the folks here are talking about is the visibility of the dormer, correct? The, the, the panels on the garage side are not visible because of the deciduous trees that Judy was talking about, not even visible really from her backyard, not only from the public way. So the, the, the panels that really are in question, I, from what I'm hearing are the ones that are up on the dormer, on the flat pitch. Um, again, this is... Uh, with the, um, yeah, so we, if you wanted us to, to, to take the, the panels that you couldn't see from the road out, um, that would be about 40%. The, the panels are up on, up on the dormer, about 60% of the total capacity of the system. Um, you know, there's, there's, there's obviously a clause within, within the, the charter it talks about the, the, um, the energy benefit. Um, I feel like sometimes in these conversations that does get lost, uh, Again, we, as the chairman mentioned, this is this came to you before on the front of the house, um, and he's 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 really done his best job to his own expense in terms of purchasing more equipment um, to make something that'll work for him by sticking it uh, on a north-facing roof in his backyard. I think that's an important. <laughs> We're seeing more and more of people who are very much does they really want to get solar for all of the, both financial, personal gain, 
and, and oftentimes because people are concerned about where we're headed and they're putting them on northern routes and they're spending more money and getting less for it. Yeah. And that's another aspect of what um, the historic groups are pushing people into. So I'm glad you brought that up. So they're trying to make even a poorly designed solar system fly and we're denying them even that. What's the orientation of the back of the house? North. Northwest. North, northwest. Just about north. Okay. Thank you. Sorry, I missed that. Magnetic. I mean, you know, they've done their, their homework. They can get some kilowatt hours out of it. Right. But it, it is sad that we're seeing um, the efficiency cut in order to get it passed by historic. You ready for the next one? Okay, we'll leave it for now. All right, so Abe, do you know that you can either refile or appeal this? I do. Yeah, I'll, I'll speak to the homeowner and we'll, we'll get back in front of you promptly. Okay. Thank you for your time. All right, well, bye bye. We should sign the paperwork. Yes. I checked off deny. And those who denied. I think, Abe, you're all set. He has, doesn't have another one, does he? No. We sign it because we denied it. I'll jot down some notes for why it was denied. You want me to? Yeah. Okay. We have one more signature to put on here. No. Where do you want three, it? Three to two. You voted for denied. Right. But um, Cindy hasn't signed it yet. She did not. We've only got three signatures. You did not. No. She denied. I denied. Oh, she did. Yes. Okay. Same thing here. Okay. All right. So you wanted to write a comment here? Somewhere? Yeah, just so. Reason. Okay. reason for denial. Is it Winslet Path? Is that the name? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We should only allow these applications in January and February. Yes, that'll do it. Honestly, that way we can get a true vision of what it, you know, it looks like. We need to have like a hundred items in the agenda. <laughs> <Those things. laughs> it's tough to know when there's. The next item is concerned with installing solar panels on the back of a house at 52 Early Redbury Lane, Harrison Laguerre, Fiona, and Sunrun Installation Services, the agent. Steve he, Kelly. Steve is here. Okay, so you have updated paperwork on this one. Correct. We've moved all the panels from the front and side of the front side of the house to the rear. What's that orientation, Steve? It's pretty much north. I couldn't see the rear, the roof from um, the road behind it at all when I drove by today. No. no. Yeah, I initially had a little concern because the house is situated so high that it might be visible from Skipper, but um, or the panels might be visible, but they're really not. It's 
from what I could tell. <laughs> I'll confess I did not get by there today to Are really there any sculpt butters? it out. No butters. I did ride the neighborhood because we did one on Skipper down the end in March. Yeah, I did Skipper today too and I didn't see them. Yeah. And this is very similar to the last one, but can't see it. You can't see it from the front, from the street. From either or front or the street we were behind. So these are 340 watt? 340s. Yeah. Does the northern orientation, uh, what was the impact on the efficiency? I, I don't the know. System? It, it's all done in online in Denver okay. and okay. You know, they put it into a program and obviously they're out to make money. So they're not putting <laughs> something that's gonna sit there and, yeah, and not this is, perform. This is different than um, what we were talking about with the, uh, the berries and the previous installation. They own that, they will own that one. That's their money. They're putting money out to make money and they will own those, that system, Stay. the berries. In the this case, stay. correct. In this case, Sunrun will own the installation. And it's a very different situation. Um, they're out to make money. Well, the, the, the homeowner will, will definitely see a, a, a discount on their electric costs, but Sunrun is the one who's taking the risk right, um, by that, putting it on the north side. I think that's really an interesting information. However, it doesn't impact the, Not his, at all. the historical committee's decisions. Exactly. Just thought you might be interested. <laughs> when you're asking about why put it on the north, for them, they still can skin enough money off of it to make it worthwhile. Mm -hmm. And it'll be just one array versus three arrays. Mm -hmm. I'll move to approve. Second. Who is in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Now, Steve, you would sign this document. Steve. Yep, sounds good. Bye-bye. Bye, thanks. Have a good night. You too. See you soon, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Not if we see you first. <laughs> So the next item on the agenda is to install 35 roof mounted solar panels. 
at 58 Lookout Road. George Bell is the owner and Solar Wolf Energy is the agent. Why should they send a person? I don't think we have the rep tonight. Live. No one here? No. Do we have the owners? Are they on Zoom? No. No? Are any of the Bell family here? No. Okay. I move to table the application until the end of the meeting. Second. All those in favor of the Aye. table? Aye. 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 Okay. Okay, the next item is also to install solar panels on the roof at 107 Merchant Avenue. Joyce Maria and John Fish are the owners. Solar Wolf Energy is the agent and the agent is not here tonight. I'm very surprised to see that they're not here. Yeah, yeah they usually are. They were supposed are. to be here. I gave a PowerPoint presentation. I don't know if you guys received that. Who they? No. Mm -mm. Solar Wolf was supposed to give you my presentation. There's like no. four things in the agenda for Solar Wolf and they're not here. I'm very surprised. So what do you have from us? Anything? Um, we, we, we have well, a we application. Have, uh, an application. You guys have gotten some abutter letters. I have. Okay. So I, was, I had done a whole PowerPoint. Okay. I got the abutter letters that, that you okay. guys had gotten and those are in the packet, but we I didn't get a PowerPoint from you. All right. Anyone. Well, I just. I don't know. It? I don't know that we need it. I mean, frankly, I think this well, is. I think but so. I do have 14 letters from everybody on the street That's and the abutters. So you're you're basically back. Yeah. Yeah. Does everybody? Yeah. With the, with the, the letters, the which is the panels are supposed to be in the rear. No. They're on the front. They're yeah. front. But what we asked them to do last time we were, they were here. Is it okay, Richard, if I continue? Right. Is to collect the letters because. This was our discussion. Is it visible? Yes, it's visible. Do the neighbors mind? No, the neighbors don't mind. We told them to come back with individual letters from each individual, and that's what they've done. I've got uh, two letters from Embutter on one side, a letter from the Embutter um, next to me on that side, the guy across the street, and then miscellaneous assorted people throughout the neighborhood who, who don't object at all and think that solar energy is a wonderful thing. Right. Uh, percentage wise, how many letters in comparison to the uh, total population on Merchant Avenue? Maybe 75. There's, there's, there's not uh, how many, many people, how many houses are there on Merchant Avenue? I don't approximately? Know. I didn't count them. 16, 18, 30. 30. So this is roughly you've got slightly less than half well a lot of people don't live there year round okay but but you've got 14 out of 30 essentially well you didn't say to get a letter from no 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 i'm just <laughs> it's, it's a similar situation to a sister circle um, where but the abutters have no issue no. so we are on the precipice of uh, considering merchant avenue an exempt area is that what you're suggesting yeah Mm -hmm. yeah. with the neighbor support yeah. yeah and also it's a loop right. so that people go through the loop, loop. and you're at the top of the loop right right so, so the, people go the other way and this way right so right. everybody would have gone home before they got to our house yeah. the only the, really the only people that travel down the street are um trash collectors and the gardeners that everybody hire right and me when i'm chasing my dog ups yes. ups the the male guy in his shorts <laughs> And that's right. pretty much it. And, you know, because it's a nice, quiet street, we get a lot of people that just yeah, want to walk on the street area. because it's quiet because the area doesn't have sidewalks. And there are already pre-existing solar in the neighborhood mm -hmm. that, that are visible, visible yeah. to the public. Yep. Not 
as prominently as this. I, I no, absolutely I'm not so sure about just that. Just as prominent. Oh, sure. I've, been, I've been on Merchant Avenue many times. Well, I'm there's, there's one on an entire garage. <laughs> yeah, I think that garage. I can see yours very, very well when I walk my dogs. Yeah, but they're not on the front of the house. They're not on the front, but when you drive down the street, that's the side of the house that's visible. This has to be one of the most prominently visible houses on Merchant Avenue. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. the, um, I was going to ask, the roof is 36 feet wide. And I haven't measured it. I haven't measured it. It's, it's in the uh, assess. If you look at the assessor's yeah, uh, sheet, it gives all the dimensions. Boy. If we could have put it on the back and had it be worthwhile, we would. But in the winter, we don't even get the snow to melt off that back roof. Right. Now, the, uh, I was wondering, it's 36 feet wide, and I calculated it's about 18 feet the uh, other dimension going up. It's a perfect spot for solar panels. Yeah, the, um, what I'm getting at is I put my solar panels on 10 years ago. And um, if I were to try to get sort of ma to match them, very difficult right. because they're changing all the time. Mm -hmm. And in your situation, that's the only roof that's really good for solar panels. Yes, right. And yeah. it's it's pointing pretty much the right direction and everything. Mm -hmm. But if you put another row on, you'd maximize all you could get out of the house. Well, we'll put as many as you allow us to put. <laughs> and we all, we're also doing yeah. the backup battery, too, if we get Absolutely. this to go through. So if, if you put 27 up instead of 18. Well, we were told we could only put a certain amount because you wouldn't approve it. And, and, well, and also the electric company supposedly only yeah. lets you put a certain amount yeah. on, too, is what there, I thought there's I a, heard. There's a, a sizing, string sizing yeah. aspect, so yeah. you have to... Make sure that they, there's enough to work with the inverter and no more because it's yeah, a kilowatt these, these hour. Have individual inverters. And it, right, but there's so. also um, if they go over a certain amount, they, if they go over um, it's like what is it, ten kilowatts, something. ten kilowatts, then they start getting they start losing some of their rebate. So well, there are aspects right. to keeping it to a certain size. Right. Putting thirty one on some of the houses. The people may have done the math and found that it worked for them. So, I mean, it's, well, it's playing it, with the numbers. In the interest of getting it done, yeah. rather than add another row <laughs> and having to come back for approval one more time, I would just as soon go with what we have. Also, another row is going to add a, a big expense to the project. Right. Yeah. They may not need well, that much yeah, kilowatt hours. If you're getting the batteries, too. You know, we, that's what we wanted to do is have the battery back up, too, because we, we, we had no electricity for like four days this winter. And... Uh, they're putting their money into the battery rather than another row the of panels. Is the, the cost of these solar panels yeah. from solar wolf are as cheap as you're going to get anywhere. <clears throat> and so the cost per watt uh -huh. is I would buy, I would fill the roof mm -hmm. and then sit back and until I die, <laughs> but, I don't worry at all. But solar, solar Wolf did an anal analysis on it, and they figured out what the solar company and, and the electric grid is going to let us do. And that was sort of what it was. What do we approve now? Do we approve more than 18 in order to give them the leeway? Okay, and that you don't have to do okay. it. Okay. But we just approve it so we can okay. give us a carte blanche. We'd love that. <laughs> you could approve for 27 on. We'll say yes for okay. uh, say if X a number of solar panels. Five years from now, if you want to put another row on. No, we could. Well, we don't use you much electricity anyway. Find, yeah, I think it's that's the be different hmm. and there'll be different sizes. They keep changing. It's probably going to be totally different yeah, technology in five years. Yeah, well, these are going to be good for like 20 to 25 yeah. years. That's going to so outlive us. You just put them on. Uh, so do we want to say 18 or more? Do you have a Do you have a homeowners association? No. Uh, no. So the difference between Sister Circle and this is Sister Circle had a homeowners association yeah. that wrote a letter yeah. on behalf of all the residents on Sister Circle. I'd like to see, uh, I would like to know if all the residents um, on Merchant Avenue would like to be exempt from uh, all of our considerations. In other words, if we decide to decide, if we decide to declare Merchant Avenue an exempt area, that means that 
no one uh, living on Merchant Avenue would need to come before us for anything. I think that anything at all, or just anything. Something. I think so, they would love that. <laughs> you think they would love it? I think they would. Love, we would. We would be heroes. We would be heroes. So, yeah. so they're going to make you go back before they question. approve. Excuse me. As far as sister circle, exempt area. Are they allowed to put solar panels in the front of the home? Yes. Too? They can do anything they want. They're exempt. Exempt no, means that's exempt. That's not true. With respect to solar panels. I don't think we made it. No. I'm not sure about that, Richard. You didn't <laughs> do that in Sister Circle. If you declare an area exempt, it's they're not, exempt. No. Sister Circle is not exempt. It's exempt relative to solar panels. Much uh, like the exemption you read two weeks ago, the last sec two meetings ago. That, that exemption you read was for putting them on the rear, still not visible from the street. It's just that you didn't have to up put in your application. Right. Right. Based right. on the age of the property. Mm -hmm. Well, back to this one. <laughs> the only thing I, I have to say about this is that this is exactly the house and the type of house and where we're locating those panels is nothing in front of that house. There isn't a tree. There isn't, there's nothing. I've got shrubbery. <laughs> um, I just think if, unless you get an exemption for this street, I think this is the perfect example of what we don't want. But but I can't help. That's the way my house is. I agree. I you, nobody can help the way the, the, the house the, is. But until the rules change, and unless you get an exemption, I mean, if we say without an exemption, if we say yes to these panels on this roof on this house with the visibility that you have driving by. It's exactly what we want to deny. But there's also one on the street that the whole garage, when you drive by, is completely completely full. visible. Yes, 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 yes. It's yes. Really what is the number of that house? Oh, Sixty-seven. Fifty-seven. Sixty-seven. Sixty-seven. Yeah. Uh, we. And I'd also don't like to. Sorry. We are not governed by precedent. I'd no. like to remind us though that we sent them back to get the letters, and they have the letters. So they've made the. They've taken the trouble now to follow our instructions and come back. Okay, was that the only instruction we gave? If yeah. that was the only instruction we gave to no, approve this application the and they did what they were told to do? Well, we have 14 of the 30 homeowners well, that have- well, that But you mostly later. said of butters. I don't know, but I'm just saying- I've, butters. I've, I've had comments you know, in the street from a couple of others um, that didn't send in letters and, uh, and they approved them. I mean, I, I, I can't tell you how much I hate this whole argument. I just hate it because I want what, you what people you to be able it, to save money, do whatever you want on your own home. But with the rules governing Old Kings Highway as they stand, um, if we simply just disregard them and say, okay, go ahead, even though there's not a leaf to be seen to cover this, this solar panel roof, uh, I think we've lost the battle. We might as well just pack it in right now. But if we put trees in front, we'd get shade, and then we're still not going to work our and, solar and trees panels. in front, you'd have to get 50-foot trees. Yeah. 20 of them. Yeah. And, and it would block the, the, the give us shade. I, 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 I get it. Why, I why did we send them back for, to get the letters then? What was our thinking back then? None of the neighbors care. Well, indeed. I mean, that's what we were. That's well, why we sent you back was to get the letters to prove that no. Now you're back, so I'm impacts, I'm confused. Yeah. We, we decided it was not a major thoroughfare. Are we going to go back on maybe exempting the neighborhood? We were, we were on a nice no, train of thought. I, I don't think yeah. that's oh, not okay. tonight. I, I personally have a problem denying a previous applicant when we could see them from another street on the rear of the house. We denied that. I thought that was wrong too. I, but I'm just saying that this is. That was a judgment call. This is clearly against what the bulletin states can't be visible from the main thoroughfare. But we are the problem. Does it make sense to table this until we review the minutes? I mean, they've gone to all this trouble. They're back. Right. Do we table this until we review the minutes? And How see long ago were you here? If, if we table this, three or we're four done. meetings. If we don't make a decision tonight, we're done. Yeah. What are you just giving up? <laughs> I'm sorry. You just <laughs> worn us down. You win. Well, you were six weeks ago when we came in. It was. Which we, three meetings ago? We we, three meetings we ago. started the process in December. No, and we're December. Just, 
we're at our wit's end with it. We're, so the problem is that the thing is that we don't have anything against you guys and we understand what you're trying to do, but we're we're under the purview of the bullet old King's Highway Bulletin, and that's what we're supposed to but follow. We, we but were the then world too. is melting. So what now. We we're trying to do to something do? green yeah. with our house. There are problems. I understand. We we oh. approved of a house on outward reach. You all know where outward reach is. Mm -hmm. you know, well, it's a good road to get into Eileen and several others in that area. And they're on the front of the house. We, we went back and forth with the uh, homeowners because when they first came in, they had them across the whole front of the house. And, and there was a ranch, a long ranch with a garage. And they worked it down instead of having 30 solar panels, I think it was, they went to 20 and they just did it on one section. And it looked decent at that point. And this gets traffic all the time there. Because the other street you're talking about. The, the term outward reach, it's like, if you want to get out of this whole complex, you go over there and get out. <laughs> and so there are lots of cars going by there all the time. So are you saying you feel comfortable approving this based on that precedent? Yeah, that and, and, and the fact that there's a barn with solar panels of yeah, the stone throw away. There's another house we approved, which is right next to the golf course on uh, Kingsway. And um, again, you, you had to go in and up and around and finally to a cul-de-sac where this house was. And if you go into the cul-de-sac, you can see the solar panels. This is on a Kingsway home? No, it's not a Kingsway home. But okay. It's an area that's you're talking about up. a brick front house with a two car garage? Yeah. Two, the, the whole the garage, bottom. it's um, on the corner the of Merchant and Susan Road. Yes, I see it. And yeah. unfortunately this was taken before. Yeah. The other thing that helps hide them is- They're, they're the people that wrote the entire full page type written letter talking about how much they approve it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, their own is so. It got approved at um, appeal. We're pretty much the only ones that are gonna see So it. this got approved on appeal? Yeah. Oh, don't make us do that. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm just, um, I, I, I just can't, we've, they've come back with the letters. They did what we told them to do. And, and well, if there were no caveats to that, um, if that's all we asked them to do, then I don't think I don't think there was an implicit suggestion that we were going to automatically approve the application yes. based on letters. No, there wasn't. Why, well, why did we asked for letters, <laughs> but we didn't say that that would necessarily mandate approval. Well, then why did we? You, you yeah, I believe it's. Bring letters yes, we, do. oh. we don't have them all. We've got 14 out of 30. You didn't tell me to get 30. No, no, no. If you told me to get 30, I'd have gotten 30. Mostly you guys were stressing getting approval from the abutters. That's what we did. One guy just died. Yeah, at least three people him. have died since we applied. <laughs> we're not kidding. It's a tough neighborhood. <laughs> well, it's an old neighborhood. It's a majority. Is there, is there any way that we can uh, take a look at the minutes from that meeting right now? Lisa, those three meetings ago, can you, can you pull up the meet minutes to three meetings ago, any chance? I think it's in the minutes. Um, um, so I'm thinking we should just table you till the end of the meeting, till the end of the meeting, so if she's going to look this up for us. And then I think there's only one left. And then we'll get right back to you. Can we do that? Would that be all right? You can do it for sure. Oh, it's it's the meeting of March twenty eighth. There's a second item. <clears throat> yeah. That original application was for 12 panels. And the new one's for 18. <coughs> Is this 
Should we give the world this neighborhood? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a nice neighborhood. Mm-hmm. We have solar panels. People are trying to get them. I just make a motion to take it. Sir, are, which which property uh, is your which, which property are you here for? Me? Yeah. Oh, I've I've lived here for fifty years in Yarmouthport, and I started a solar energy company in Plymouth twelve years ago. And I'm trying to understand the rationale for your decisions and where you want to put the panels or not put the panels. Okay. Because I, the regional. Historical Society in Barnstable and all their caveats and things, they have no problem with panels on the front of a house. Okay, anyway. All right, I didn't mean to launch you. You're you're not Mr. Davis, Dennis. No, but I'd love to listen to this arguments and whoever set these rules. Okay, so I don't believe we have a representative um, for the last item was where I was headed. So even to table it, I don't think is going to get us any cat bias, anything. Well, we haven't tabled them yet, so. No, but I mean, it's, there's Lisa, nobody you, here. Are you going to be able to do this, or is this yeah, too much no, of I've a? Got, yeah, no, I found them. Okay. Um, yeah, we had said, um, Vice Chair Wilkins said the OKH committee's mission is to preserve the character of the story. Can we district. listen to this? Yeah, Excuse me. It's sensitive to the opinion of abutters. He suggested that the petition is not as persuasive as a letter from each neighbor expressing support for the solar panels and providing their personal opinion. Neighbors will often sign a petition since it's difficult for someone to turn down another neighbor at their door. Member Argo said the applicants can appeal to the OKH commission and include abutter letters in the appeal. In addition, the committee is elected, so there's a path to change there as well. Um, then, you know, there was obviously there was more discussion ahead of that, but that sort of seems to get down to the to the point we are right now. So I'm sorry, Lisa, I didn't hear you. Uh, what, what's the upshot of our discussion of having abutters do letters? Was that the end of the discussion? Um, Yes, at the end that um, Bob had said that the committee's mission is to preserve the character of the his, of the historic district, though the committee's um, is sensitive to the opinions of a butter. So he suggested that a petition is not as persuasive as a letter from each neighbor expressing support for the solar panels and providing their personal opinion. Um, neighbors will often sign a petition since it's difficult for someone to turn down another neighbor at their door. So these should all be persuasive. Yeah, because I think the the one the letters that you have, I, it sounds like they had a bunch more letters which didn't make it into the packet because I don't have them. But are Solar we, Wolf had submitted those. I think there's four in there for. Are you guys. we in a position right now to declare okay. Merchant Avenue a solar exempt neighborhood? Can we do that right now? Essentially, yeah. Want to do it? Why not? Okay. Good. Do it. That way you avoid your presence. Yeah, I don't want to hear any more applications from from, from Merchant <laughs> Avenue ever again. So, um, want to make a motion, Bob? Yeah, I will move to approve the application uh, with the understanding that henceforth Merchant Avenue is hereby declared a solar panel exempt neighborhood. <laughs> With my I'll blessing. Second. <laughs> I'll, I'll second that. I second it. You have to vote. <laughs> so I, I second you can't it. Vote. <laughs> okay. Aye. 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 Okay. <laughs> Good for you, Joyce and John. Have to sign something. You. Uh, you carried the day. Congratulations. Yes. You sign you something. It won't hurt, promise. I am so happy. <laughs> Good. Go home and have a block party. I'm thinking about things to spend electrical on. Maybe I'll get an electric car. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> actually talk to me afterwards. I have a, a no, fully electric car. I haven't panels. spent that's anything. That's what I just, that's what I said. I'm just solar panels. Because now. Otherwise they'll be hanging. We're still in a meeting. Side. I know. Well, no, no. Richard corrected me about sister circles. It says so. you won't change anything. You can't make can't any changes. They can only no do all, any solar panels. Right. Yep. Thank you, Lisa. Appreciate yes. that. Excellent. Oh, wait, do I climb on it too? Or just no. You'll get it. No. Sign it if you wish. You'll get it. I have the same last name. John. That's why I was wondering. Oh. Yeah. We can talk about electric cars. All right. I guess we'll go home now. Okay. Yes, you can right. leave. Thank you. <laughs> You're I'll welcome. Celebrate. Bye bye. <sighs> bye bye. So what did we think? The last person's not here? No. Right. There's nobody else um, waiting to get in, correct? I don't think so. Oh. No. And I know Solar Wolf is absent tonight. So. Okay. All right. So I move to table uh, item number seven. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Sorry. I, I guess we can. It would be eight. No, number eight. We're moving. We're tabling that one, right? Yeah. It, right. it would be okay. eight. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, so is that not old Cedar Lane? Yes. Yeah. It says seven here. How do we sneak eight in? We do we sneak? Oh, six? because you skip six. six. Yeah. Uh, yeah, six is struck. Okay. So it's item seven. You're right. right so Sorry I move to table item seven or application number seven until the next meeting. It's actually eight, but no, that's eight. okay. <laughs> Why is it eight? What am I missing? Because here? we skipped one. Six we, we skipped six. Fifty-six. Oh. I don't Gray have Farm eight. Road was not heard tonight. Great Farm Road wasn't. I second it. So that's so. Oh, so that would have that would have made eight. eight. So true. now it's down to seven. You don't have. Eight. I don't have eight. I've Lisa, what's the matter with you? <laughs> I've got eight. I take back all the rebates I just gave you. <laughs> all right. So all right. I, okay. So it. So should I say seven or eight then? Seven. Say, seven. Why don't you give it a AO five seven? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, what a good idea. <laughs> Item two two AO five seven. I second. Aye. All in favor? Aye. 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 I was going to deny that. Aye. Do we Aye. want to sign the um, solar exemption? And or? then what about item five? Oh, do we have to untable that and then retable yeah. that? Yeah. All right. I move to untable 22 uh, A054. I second. Aye. Is that Aye. There was no one here. So we were. Yes. Okay, so we tabled it. Mm -hmm. yeah, we didn't all say aye, but I guess aye. that's good enough. <laughs> aye, aye. Uh, and I'll move to table item 22A054 until the next meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. All right, then. Oh, let me sign this. Anybody have grandchildren? I brought something in for kids. <sighs> it's not McDonald's Happy Meal toys, is it? No. I've been collecting <laughs> them for my neighbor's kids. Oh. <laughs> and I hate Happy Meals. <laughs> uh, all right. Well. Mm. Thank you. I'm getting really nervous. Are we, do we have any more, Mr. Chairman? Yeah. Yes. Okay. We have to uh, review the minutes from the rest of the You don't know too much about good surgery. All right. And, you know, so if you know too much about something, all you do is get nervous about it once. And, uh, what are you having done? Cataracts. Both eyes? Piece of paper. Yeah. Did you have them done? No, but my father did. <laughs> And they've come a like long way since then. That was like removing yellow film. That's right, exactly. Film. Except that Richard tells me he had no effect we're, whatsoever. So we're, I'm not happy with still, Richard. We're still oh, listen, to him. listen to my father through my mouth. 
Okay, apparently we're still on TV. Oh, are we? Okay. <laughs> well, we're having fun. What's wrong with that? <laughs> okay. Now, we had um, the minutes of the meeting from uh, April 25th. They were extensive. And uh, anyone read them? Any additions, deletions? Not for me. Look okay. They were extensive. They were I move to approve the meetings from April 25th. Second. All in favor? I didn't read them, so I will abstain. Okay. Those who did. Aye. 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 Oh, I forgot. <laughs> okay. So the minutes are approved. Um, the next meeting will be May 23rd. And um, that's, no, that's about all that's new. I'll be going to an appeal on the 24th. Very good. Move to adjourn. Adjourn. Second. All in favor of adjourning? Aye. 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 Aye.